In these movies, we demonstrate the restoration of rod-mediated vision following photoceptor transplantation using a water maze test that requires cognitive processing of visual information. We show examples of typical swimming behaviour in wild-type mice, uninjected and sham-injected GNAT1 controls, as well as in GNAT1 mice that have received rod precursors. Mice were trained under photopic conditions to associate a striped grating with a hidden platform that allows them to escape the water. After training, all mice could correctly solve the task on over 70% of occasions. All of the trials shown in this movie were carried out under scotopic, that is to say very dim lighting conditions, below the threshold for cones, and therefore test rod-mediated vision. The first movie shows three independent trials of an untreated wild-type mouse navigating the water maze. A left or right choice is made at the end of the divider. A dashed line indicates the decision point. An animal passes a trial by crossing the line on the correct side of the divider, that's say the side with the stripe grating and the hidden platform. In all three trials, the wild type mouse goes directly and quickly to the hidden platform associated with the visual cue. The mouse performs all three trials correctly in under five seconds. The second movie shows three independent trials of an untreated GNAT1 knockout mouse. The GNAT1 mice lack rod-mediated vision in these scotopic lighting conditions. In the first trial, the mouse is hesitant and indecisive but makes the correct choice. The mouse then follows the boundaries of the maze and eventually finds a platform in 15 seconds. Although it finds a platform, it doesn't appear to be responding to the visual cue. In the second trial, the mouse swims in circles and eventually makes an incorrect choice. The mouse eventually finds a platform in 29 seconds. In the third trial, the mouse also makes an incorrect choice and then uses the boundary of the water maze to find the hidden platform which it does in 21 seconds. The third movie shows three independent trials of a GNAT1 knockout mouse that has received a sham transplant. In the first trial, the mouse swims indecisively in circles and eventually makes the correct choice, which does not appear to be visually guided, as it uses the boundaries of the maze to find the hidden platform, taking 19 seconds to do so. In the second trial, the mouse also swims in circles and makes an incorrect decision. It eventually finds a platform after 17 seconds. In the third trial, the mouse initially chooses the incorrect lane and uses the boundaries of the water maze to find the platform, which it does after 15 seconds. The final movie shows three independent trials of a GNAT1 mouse that has received NRL GFP positive rod precursors. This mouse, one of our best examples, was later identified as having one of the highest number of integrated photoreceptors. In the first trial, the mouse swims down the middle of the water maze and appears to adjust course in response to the visual cue, finding the platform in seven seconds. In the second trial, 
After some initial disorientation, the mouse swims directly to the correct side of the divider and finds a hidden platform in 7 seconds. And finally, in the third trial, the mouse swims directly to the platform in 6 seconds.